In this episode, I want to talk about the use of camming devices for setting up mechanical advantage systems. This is mainly for whitewater, but it might apply to other things. Historically, we've used a good old pressic. We tie a pressic hitch onto a rope. We can move it up and down the rope. It's simple. It's pretty cost effective. It works really well. A couple downsides of using a pressic is when you use it to capture progress down here, there's a little bit of slip. You don't capture all of your progress, or if you do, it requires somebody here to mind it, and it's sort of a dangerous position working minding a prusik. So I'm not a big fan of doing that. Somebody, by minding, I mean somebody has to move it up and down. If you use a, a pulley to self-mind, there's always a little give where I, I'm always bummed out to lose a little bit of that progress, but that's a downside for sure. The other downside is if you pull really hard on a prusik, it can actually melt the rope, which these ropes are really expensive. Those are These are at forces you probably shouldn't be working at, but if you were to, or if things weren't correct, the prusik can melt the rope or sometimes slip if it's the wrong type of prusik. These cam devices are really cool. They use a cam inside them instead of using teeth. And a lot of us have probably looked at using the micro traction. This is a pretty cool thing by Petzl, putting a micro traction pulley onto here, but it has teeth. And these teeth have been proven to tear the sheath off. Where these cams don't have teeth, they shouldn't tear the sheath off. Now they may, they haven't when I've tested them, but they shouldn't. But then they grab the rope really well. This is the first one I played with. This is the CMC Capto. It's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. It's a few hundred bucks, but you can see I can move it down and grab on the rope really well. This one uh, also releases at six kilonewtons, which is a nice safety feature. The downside of this one is it's expensive also. It only handles 10 and a half and 11 mil rope. So it's a narrow range of rope. This is a cool new one that Rock Exotic came out with, the Rock Grab, and this can handle ropes 8 to 13 millimeters, so a good wide variety from just a good static line all the way down to some throw bags. And again, it grabs onto the rope really well. If I pull here, it grabs, and if I need to move it out, it's super easy to move out, way easier than a Prusik. I can put tension on it, and I can even move it back pretty easy too. So this is pretty slick. The new rock grab has a pin that comes in and out so I can install this mid rope. So these are cool ways to attach on to the rope for the three to one. For the pulley here, this is a really cool thing somebody talked, showed me in a video I reviewed or told me about. And again, this can handle eight to 13 millimeter rope. You just pull on this thing, it, it's a pulley, and there's a built in cam, you pull, and the cam captures the progress. This is a pretty cool little thing. It uh, allows you to just put the rope in midway. You can like slide this open. In playing with this a little bit, the downside is once you get tension on it, it's tricky to release the tension. I've struggled a lot when I have heavy tension here. I'm still playing with it. I'm hoping somebody invents something I feel like is coming that works really well here that's a little bit easier to release the tension. Now you can release the tension, I have done it. It just, it's tricky and takes a, I don't know, I always feel like I'm gonna get my fingers caught in here. So the point of this video is just to share some ideas. I'm playing with these. These are all more expensive than Prusik's for sure, but they're more reliable. They're just bomber, I think, and something we why I wanna consider for our rescue kits, our pin kits, our wrap kits, whatever you wanna call them, especially as the technology's gotten better. I feel like in playing with these a bit, this Rock Exotica one has gotten to the point where it's solid. Now I want something here that is like this, but also solid. Oh, one more advantage of this, of this rolling lock thing. You can put webbing through here too. It has a flat little cam here. So it works with a wide variety of rope and webbing. If you have a flip line or something and want to use it with this, it also works. So kind of a cool side thing. So I kind of want to know what you all think. A lot of you are rescue instructors and work with this stuff. Do you feel like these camming devices are a good idea? Are they maybe the future? Are they too expensive maybe? Are there downsides I'm not thinking of? Because I really feel like in three, four or five years, this is pretty solid. We'll be using this and we'll have something similarly solid right here. But as you can see, easy setup. I didn't set it up here, but you didn't see me set up, but it was easy. And it can do a nice pull and grab all of that progress. I can even hear that thing down there cracking a little bit, creaking. That's how good the pull is. So anyway, share your thoughts as always in the comment section. And that's it for this episode. See you next time. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it.